What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over leak code 605 can place flowers. First we'll go over the input and the output, then we'll look at the approach, and finally we'll go over the code and complexity. The input is going to be an integer array and an integer, and the output is going to be boolean true or false. So let's find out what they're asking. We have to take the input number n is equal to 1 and see if we can place that many number of ones into the input array. The one represents a flower. So in our case, if n is equal to one, we can put it in between these zeros. What we're trying to do is replace the zeros with one such that there is no consecutive ones. So here we have one, zero, one, zero, one. And this is gonna be true because we're allowed to do that. And we have three zeros and we can put one in between. Now let's look at a few different cases. I just mentioned that in order to place a flower, we have to do it such that there are no consecutive ones. If we have one, two, three zeros, which are consecutive, we can go ahead and place flower there. So if we have an index i, we can place a flower at index i if i minus one and i plus one are both zero. Now, after we place a flower, we have to convert this zero to a one. That's simple. But what about the edge cases? What happens if we are at the end or the beginning of the array and we don't have so many zeros? Let's take a look at that. Here are the edge cases. If we're starting out in the beginning of the array and we have zeros, so two consecutive zeros, we can actually make the ith index a one. That's because there's nothing on the left side, but we still have to make sure that i plus one is a zero. Similarly, if we're at the end and we wanna make i a one, we have to check if i minus one is also a zero. So essentially, we're always checking if an index at i is gonna be zero, and then we try to see if i minus one or i plus one is zero. Otherwise, if we're at the edge cases, the beginning and end of arrays, then we have to simply make sure that we're at the end or the beginning. Now let's look at the code. The code is pretty simple. All we do is grab the length of the array and initialize a count variable. First we begin iterating and if at any point AR of I of Z is zero, we may be able to put a flower there. What we have to do is just see, okay, are we at the edge case or not the edge case? If we are at one of the edge cases, like let's say AR i is equal to zero, so i is equal to zero, then this condition checks out. All we need is this condition. So this one can be linked to this for one of the edge cases, and this one is linked to this for the end edge case. Otherwise, all we need is ar of i minus one is to zero, ar of i plus one is equal to zero. If so, we place a flower, increment the count, and return if count is greater than or equal to the end. Now let's look at the time and space complexity. The time complexity is simple. We're just iterating through the array once, so it's gonna be O of n, and the space complexity is gonna be O of one because we're using constant space. So that's how you solve leak code 605, can place flowers. If you like the video, please thumbs up, and if you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe.